this is our back garden. Uh, as you can see, we've used a pyro weeder on two thirds of it, and we have one third left to do. Uh, the first third was a bit of a learning curve. Our rows are just over four feet in width. Uh, we'll readjust next year, uh, so that you'll see the strips where the pyro, where I've missed with the pyro weeder. In the center of the garden, I overlapped uh, slightly, and you'll see that all the weeds are gone and we have one third left to go. And you can see the difference between the two pieces that have been done compared to what we haven't weeded. Uh, we, we're definitely happy with the results and we'll uh, refine our methods uh, for next year. Thank you. This is our Pyro Weeder 48. As you can see, Sanders just pushing it down the row. The idea is not to annihilate the weed completely and burn it off. The idea is to heat the weed up enough that the water within the leaf expands and ruptures the soil, killing the weed. Uh, these weeds are a little high. I'd suggest no more than one or two inches. Uh, I will go over them a second time. Thank you.